everyone welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video today's video I'm gonna share something with you that I don't think I've ever shared with you before but I'm sure you all some may have been doing this and some might not know that they could actually do this and this as shaving the face today I'm gonna show you how I get rid of the little furry the little fine hair from my face to have the entire face just looking smooth and radiant so if you're interested in seeing how I shave my face for beautiful young looking skin without all the fuzziness then continue watching the video before I shave my face I like to make my have to shave solution and for this solution I like to use some witch hazel which is a great moisturizing facial toner now the witch hazel is gonna help to smooth the skin so i'm using about a teaspoon of witch hazel you can choose to make more of this however i do not like to make a lot i just like to use up whatever i make for one use and i'm going to be using some rose water which is another wonderful ingredient to use on your face especially after shaving it is moisturizing it's going to help to cool the skin while hydrating the skin so i'm using about a, a teaspoon of rose water like i said before you can choose to double up on the ingredient and Next is the aloe vera gel, which is another wonderful cooling agent to the skin. I'm using about a teaspoon of aloe vera gel. And, and this is it. I'm just gonna mix all three together. Mix all three together. And this is my own personal aftershave for my face. All right, now let's go on the other side and do some face shaving. Now, before I shaved my face, the first thing that I do, I make sure to wash my face. I like to wash my face with warm water. In that way, it will help to soften the hair a little. Now, the next thing I do, I reach for my solution, which is basically my aftershave. However, I like to use this before and after. So I just take a little of my solution in my hands like this, not a lot, and I just pat it on my skin. So I just pat it on my skin for about a minute. And I also like to be vigorous with this. In spite of the fact that I'm shaving, I like to wake my face up a bit. I wake my face up by just basically splashing on my homemade aftershave on my skin now what I do next I just wait a while to make sure that it is completely dry on my skin as personally for me I like to shave dry I do not like my skin to be damp or wet now once my skin is dried and I touch it like this and it's feel dry then I start with the shaving now take a look at what I have here this is a little shaver this shaver most people use it to shave their eyebrow or any little form of a fuzz on their face and therefore this is what i am going to use now guys another important thing that i personally like to do before i shaved in spite of the fact that it is new i like to take it and i like to dip it in my aftershave so i tend to dip it in the aftershave basically helping to sterilize it a little now once that is done i just uh, flash it like this and i'm about to shave for me i shave right at the side of my face right here these are the two main areas that i shave where i tend to get a lot of fuzz and sometimes i even go right under my chin to get rid of all the little fine fuzzy hair now when i shaved i shave downward like this never upward i shave in the direction that the hair grows if you're not sure where to shave 
save, make sure to save in front of a mirror. For me, I do this for such a long time that I don't use a mirror. And guys, it is also a myth that if you remove the fuzz from your face, it's going to grow back thicker and, you know, you know, give your face much more hair. Not myth, myth, myth. Since I've been doing this for a long time and I don't have that thick hair on my face. Okay, so now I'm just going to shave and I like to just feel where I'm shaving. So I just feel, I'm basically just smooth it down on my skin like this. Just smooth it down, smooth it down. And let me zoom in for you guys to see what I'm doing. So I basically just drag it down and I go in a line, just drag it down, just like this, in a line, go down, all the way under my ear, and I go down like this, and you can see the fuzz coming off it's not a lot i just have very very thin fuzz as i was saying and i keep going down and that is it and that's complete one side and then i go to the other side and i do the same left-handed so i have to turn it like this which is more comfortable for me and then i I just go down on it. Notice I don't go anywhere close to my cheekbones, right underneath the cheekbones and more towards my hair. So I just go down on my face. And the upside tend to have more fuss, as the fuss at all times. I don't know why. And right down right down and i tend to go all the way down right under and then i am done now this is reusable and a good way to store this is just to pour some olive oil in a container stick this in the olive oil and just leave it there the blade is not going to get dull it's going to stay fresh when you're ready to use it you take it out you rinse it off in some warm water and it's ready to use again okay now once i'm done with that my face is now feeling smooth next i reach for my homemade aftershave again i pour a little bit in my hands like this and rub it up and back to what i did when i just started i just press it on my face like this And that's it I am done now I tend to do this uh, basically maybe once per month I don't do it very often because the hair don't really grow back that fast but whenever I find that it get a little fuzzy then I go again and do it all over repeating the process now for my experience i do not get any form of an ingrown and as i said earlier my hair does not grow back any thicker i think if you protect first like you know use your aftershave before and after it actually do a wonder for your skin by not letting your skin get any form of an irritation or anything I now there you have it that is all now if you shave your face leave a comment below tell me how you go about shaving getting rid of the fuss from your face and if you don't shave leave your comment and just tell me why you don't shave your face at all or if you think it's good to shave or if you think it's not a great idea at all okay thank you all for watching so there you have it thank you all for watching if you like the video give it a thumbs up don't forget to share the video and leave your comments and if this was your first time watching don't leave without subscribing so look below you're gonna see the word subscribe just click on it and you will be subscribed thank you all and i'll see you in my next video bye bye